on an initial cursory glance, it's pretty obvious what this photograph is. It's the beloved cast of Only Fools and Horses, except it's not. It's the cast of the West End, hit musical Only Fools and Horses. There are 14 characters on this photograph. I wonder how many of the characters you can name. I've only managed 13. I probably need you to help me to work out the 14th. This guy is a total mystery to me. My best guess is this guy has got nothing to do with the musical. He's just wandered onto the set, hasn't he? Let's just leave him out for the time being. Can you name them all? Let's take a closer look. Let's start with the easiest. Obviously, this is Dell. Whenever did Dell do that with his mouth with a big fat cigar in it? Never, that's when. And he just looks too brash. I know Dell was brash, but he wasn't that kind of brash. Next, Rodney. We only really know this is Rodney because of the camo jacket. They've made no attempt whatsoever to find someone Rodney looking, have they? I look more like Rodney than this guy. And the height disparity, it's not enough. Rodney towers over Dell in the show. Uh, they made a big mistake there. Obviously, Grandad, played by the wonderful Paul Whitehouse. They could have put Uncle Albert in the role, of course. So glad they chose Grandad. He's my he's my favourite out of the pair. This, this is the best bear casting, Luke. Trigger! They've got him spot on. He looks exactly like Trigger, doesn't he? He could be Trigger's son. This guy, any ideas? He's meant to be Mike the Barman. Looks nothing like him, does he? Lazy casting. This guy's obviously Denzel. What's he doing with Mickey Pierce, though? That's Rodney's mate. Denzel wouldn't be seen dead with him. Mickey Pierce, obviously. They weren't in the TV series much, these two, but they're obviously the Driscoll brothers. This is Danny Driscoll. This is Tony Driscoll. Now again, clearly there is a height difference here, but it was far more pronounced in the show. Tony Driscoll was very comically short compared to his brother in the show. And here he just looks, well, short. It's not enough. A lot of the comedy's gone. He needs to be almost dwarf-like, and this guy needs to look like a giant. Obviously Boise. I suppose he's a reasonable likeness. Obviously Marlene. She looks the part. She's got the look, but can't she pull off the performance of Marlene? I suppose we'll have to go to the show and to find out. Cassandra, clearly my least favourite character from the show. Least favourite. Mainly, I think, because the actress playing her couldn't act. She just couldn't act. Let's see if this one does a better job. This very attractive woman, would you believe, is Raquel. Far more attractive than the one in the show. I suppose now we know why Dal's got this stupid, big, happy grin on his face with the, with the cigar. Look at the hot wife. And then that leaves this guy. He's not Slater. He's no friend to these two. He's nothing to do with the Driscolls. He looks more like a young Harry Sikkim to me. If you work this bloke out, please let me know in the comments. Only Fools Naughty's musical. It's definitely on my to-do list. From a mush and shepherd's bush. <laughs>